My name is Todd Crawford, uh, lead uh, technical engineer for the CAT drone program. Um, been with Caterpillar now for almost four years. Uh, kind of my, our story and what Caterpillar is doing today with drones, uh, it all started really with our um, public announcement of our partnership with the Redbird 2000. Uh, in 2015, so December 15th of 2015, we announced a partnership with uh, Redbird. Redbird is a startup company based out of France that uh, we've been working with now for a little bit over a year. So our market grabbed the drone space in order for us to, for Caterpillar to, to get out into the drone area and start uh, working with uh, not just the drone but the analytics. And uh, with that said, 2015 was kind of our research and development era, and then 2016 is, is our uh, go-to-market strategy. We've been working uh, through our dealers and with our Redbird uh, partnership and now with our Airware partnership. So Airware is uh, a new partner uh, that actually uh, Airware acquired Redbird here recently, just uh, second week of October. And that just uh, kind of encompasses now our strategy to now be able to scale this globally. The customer experience with the Redbird product all boils down to it's accessible by cloud. You don't have to download any software. You don't have to have any license to download the software. And it's literally a, a login and a user password. And you can access your site information from anywhere in the world using a laptop or a tablet. And it's really a clickable type application. You log into your site, you reference a geospatial information, let's call it like just a beautiful picture of your site, and within that you can actually start clicking and dragging and measuring and manipulating that information all based inside of a cloud computing software. And the analytics are already built inside of it for you, so you don't need a so Dan does all the work for you and delivers to the customer doesn't necessarily have a geospatial or surveying engineering background. So that's the user experience. You don't have to have an engineering, a geospatial, or all those tools. We're going to give you the end product, and that's what our customers see a value today. It's like, what can I do quickly with this data? How can I manipulate this data? How can I make faster, better decisions? Hi, my name is Daniel Custer. I'm the team's data scientist. Uh, I work in global information services with Caterpillar. Uh, so really where I come into the part is looking at the data that comes off of the drones. Uh, so when we fly these different systems, uh, whether a fixed wing or a quadcopter, uh, you get a lot of data. So really the value comes from the analytics that you get. So taking the, the pictures and the metadata that come off these drones and then converting that into point clouds, 3D meshes, and then looking at the analysis part. So using some of our part partner software with Trimble and Redbird, that's where we can actually derive data that looks at stockpile analysis, haul road analysis, berm heights, and many other features that our customers are really looking to explore and drive efficiencies. It's funny that our customers have a lot of customization yeah, features definitely. that they're exploring. So whether that's site planning, initial site planning, or whether that's uh, looking at stockpile analysis month to month or week to week basis. I think we're kind of just exploring or just touching the tip of the iceberg, so to say, as to what our customers want and what they can derive value from with a 3D model uh, through the point cloud. And like Todd was alluding to earlier, it's very easy. I could give the point cloud to my mom and she could figure it out. Uh, it's it's easy to access information and to get the data quickly. Yeah, I, I, I like this analogy too. A good friend of mine said once, we are literally digitizing dirt. I mean, we're taking geospatial information with embedded metadata. Uh, using the, the drone technology, and we're going to digitize your site, and now we're working on next generation. What can we do with that data, and how can we use it with our customer ecosystem? The first partners were Trimble. We, we needed a tool actually to get started in this whole area, and that's what we're using the UX5 today for as far as the tool to be able to collect the data. The second partner was then we jumped into, okay, what do we do with all this data? And that's where the Redbird initiative came in. How can we share this data? How can we manipulate this data? How can we have a more user experience with this type of data? And then the next layer is the Airware initiative, and that ties it into an enterprise solution. So we'll just use State Farm, for example. They're also a company that utilizes the same kind of ecostructure as Caterpillar would. So now think of what Dan always refers to as who, what, when, where's, and why's. Let's dot the I's and cross the T's. It's that 
that, that quality that we're going to bring into it. So Airware encompasses the entire uh, enterprise structure. They, they, they create an agnostic environment in order to use different tools, whether you're using the UX5 here or we're actually using maybe a DJI product. So it doesn't matter what drone you're using, it's just Airware provides that agnostic approach to be able to uh, use the pilot, use the quality, use the data, it all goes up to a cloud, and then it's spread throughout the Redbird uh, uh, cloud computing, and that's when, that's when all the data starts to, to, to be distributed to our customers.